However, there is something that could settle this debate of where the Chinese come from once and for all. After that. I'm meeting Professor Jin Li, one of China's leading geneticists. Recently, he led a project that set out to prove that the Chinese evolved independently from everyone else, from Homo erectus, here in China. Before the project started, I was hoping that I could identify or could be able to find the evidence that support independent origin of Chinese in China, because I'm a Chinese and came from China, and through the education process, I always believed that they, there was something special about Chinese. He singled out a male genetic marker, which only appeared about 80,000 years ago in Africa. So any man who carries that marker must have recent African ancestors and can't be descended from the more ancient Asian Homo erectus. Jin took DNA from over 160 ethnic groups around East Asia. Over 12,000 samples. And so, what did you find? We did not see any, even one single individual that could be considered as the descendant of the Homo erectus in China. Rather, everybody was a descendant of our ancestors from Africa. The result couldn't have been any clearer. But how did that make you feel? As a Chinese person? After I saw the evidences that we generate in my laboratory, I think we should all be happy with that because, after all, modern humans from different parts of, part of the world are not so different from each other, and we are very close relatives. It's great, thank you. The marching band, do me subs Chinese man. Sh ah. Once upon a time in this great land, European settlers were set up on a caveman quest. Dutch king summoning Ian Van Beck. The rest was Queen Elizabeth conquest. That's portrayed quite well by Kate Blanchett. Mm. Great actress, wait, I may digress. Before that was pyramids and villages with pygmy, little men, and other such denizens rest. Complex systems of living, some fishing, some building, and others out killing. Matriarchy where the kings were trapped, women painted art still seen today in tribe symbols. It's a cycle. Your beginning is your ending or your interim. Your appearance is a historic coincidence, but they link it to your incorrect conditioning. Not everybody's screaming racism as a consequence. Bring out the marching band, let them play an anthem for a continent. You and them watch the plan. Liberate the mind, but forgot the land. Uh -huh. Bring out the marching band. Let them play an anthem for a continent. Uh, why you don't watch the plan? Liberate the land, but forgot the man. He bought a range, but his aims all caught a plane, but it ain't take off. JFK straight shot, Great Lakes paying for it. Hate makes the air foggy. SA takes notice, play it safe, same result. So David Blaine get the rainbow, so to y'all, you get wise away to the new realizer, take us all, break a law, take a farm. You get out your head, cause I'd sooner root for that than a handout. Break the arms, embargo, let it be my own Zimbabwe, so cold and powerless, swallow my bow and arrow and follow that with his toes and angle to photograph. My eyes know a I will recover from all of that nasty All about poverty, playing at all happy Skin too thick, get a little tin of acne cream Or Vaseline, you wait till them Somali kids Give you a take from that Bruce Wayne Alley scene Bring out the marching band Let them play an anthem for a continent You and them watch the plan Liberate the mind but forgot the land uh -huh. Bring out the marching band Let them play an anthem for a continent You and them watch the plan Hey, liberate the mind but forgot the land Sincere ignorance.